America has a growing demand for natural gas. That's because natural gas is the cleanest burning fossil fuel, emitting less than half of the carbon dioxide of coal. In the United States, natural gas is transported by pipeline and by truck in the form of compressed natural gas or liquefied natural gas. Liquefied natural gas is also imported or exported overseas and shipped by tanker. LNG is liquefied natural gas. It's the natural gas that we use every day from home heating, for power generation, for cooking, commercial and industrial uses. LNG is everyday natural gas, cooled to liquid, so that it is possible to transport it uh, overseas. You're not going to build a pipeline across the Atlantic Ocean, so we have to devise another way to deliver the product to the consumers here in our country. And the way we do that is we liquefy it. And we liquefy it, it, you have to take the temperature of natural gas down to minus 260 degrees Fahrenheit, turns it into a liquid, it shrinks it to one six hundredth of its size in a gaseous state, and allows us to effectively and efficiently and cost effectively transport it across the ocean and bring it here. LNG on an LNG carrier is very, very safe. There have been over 50,000 trips made on LNG carriers all over the world since the commercial LNG business started in the early 1960s. All LNG tankers are double hull vessels with six to ten feet between the outer hull and the inner hull. Sometimes that has air in it, sometimes it has ballast water. Then there is another section of insulation that, that's several feet thick, yet a third containment that actually holds the cargo material, the LNG. LNG is an environmentally friendly fuel, so that in the highly unlikely event of a spill of LNG on water, it would merely vaporize and dissipate into the atmosphere with no slick or no residue whatsoever. To demonstrate, I have a beaker of water and a beaker of LNG. I have to use this glove because the LNG is extremely cold. And I want to pour the LNG on the water and you see the LNG is boiling off because the temperature of the water was a lot warmer than the liquefying temperature to keep the natural gas in its liquid state. All that's left is a little bit of ice on top of the water and clean cold water. There's never been a case where there's been an, L an accident with an LNG vessel, where LNG has spilled, where there's been a release to the atmosphere. LNG tanker is uh, one of the type of vessel which is the most safest to, uh, to sail on. LNG is non-corrosive, non-toxic, and indeed it's not even flammable in its liquid state. And to demonstrate it, I'm going to take this burning cigarette and extinguish it in the LNG. The LNG shipping industry also adheres to high security standards. Tankers are subject to Coast Guard inspection before entering U.S. waters. And every crew member must pass a thorough background check. While entering port, Coast Guard vessels escort tankers in coordination with local law enforcement and environmental authorities. Tankers are maneuvered with extreme precision, and exclusion zones are maintained to keep other vessels at a safe distance. A typical LNG tanker has about 35 million gallons of LNG on it. That's enough to keep 30,000 homes for a year, enough to provide fuel for power generation for about a million homes for a week. LNG is produced all around the globe and by diversifying our energy supplies we ensure our energy security. LNG plays an important role in fueling homes and businesses but before it can be distributed it must be regasified at an LNG terminal. The Everett Marine Terminal located just outside of Boston is the longest running facility in the United States. It supplies 20% of New England's natural gas. 
The Everett Terminal's been in operation continuously since 1971. We've unloaded almost a thousand ships here, safely and without incident. We're very proud of our track record, and the industry is as well. In the unlikely case of a spill on land, LNG will vaporize and dissipate just as it would at sea, as demonstrated here. We use different technologies to vaporize LNG. What they have in common is that they use a heat transfer medium. We typically use water, just hot water. We pump LNG into it through a series of small tubes that go through the vaporizer. It turns back into a warm gas and goes directly out into the pipelines, which brings the gas to people's homes and businesses. On a cold day, LNG from this facility can make up about 40% of the natural gas consumed in New England. One of our customers is the Mystic Power Station, located about 400 yards from us. It's the largest power plant in New England. It's a 1,600 megawatt power plant. It is fueled solely by LNG, vaporized LNG from this terminal. It supplies about 30% of the power consumed in the greater Boston area. That plant has been operating now for eight years with no problems. What you can take away from that is that the reliability of an LNG terminal like this one is extremely high. In the years ahead, LNG will continue to play an important role in diversifying our natural gas supply and meeting clean energy demand wherever and whenever it's needed. Thank you.